Right, let's uh, start doing things. Uh, so, so helmet is done up, harness is done up, and straps are central. Instruments are on reset, and the route is planned for today's route. Ooh, nervous for today's route, David Stone. Very important. I've got my wallet and I've got my phone. Fuel sufficient for the flight? Yes. Fuel is sufficient for flight. I've done lots of planning on this. Lots of planning. So, uh, so it should be good. Weather I've checked three times. Machine went together well. Nice and simple. It takes less than 10 minutes to get this thing ready to go. 15, 20 with the walk round and fueling. But that's still not too bad. Let's do this. Wind is from the south today, it's very light. Right. Cornwall, here I come. So as I said earlier, I've done a lot of planning for this uh, for this trip overnight. The key is fuel. I have very limited, well I have a maximum amount of fuel I can carry, not limited. It is limited, yes. And uh, I wanted to make sure I could do it. So the key today is, uh, is ground speed. I've got a slight southerly wind. Uh, I did put some extra fuel in to allow me to taxi, but then I made sure before I took off I was below my um, my maximum because otherwise I'd be an auto boy. I'd be above my 75 kilos because I've got a reserve chute. So today is about fuel management. At the moment my ground speed is 35 miles an hour. It's a 65 mile leg. The mass is just under two hours. I'm currently burning about five litres an hour average once I've gained the cruise. So I'm allowing myself two hours for this trip. I have done one last uh, trip change and it seems to be settled in quite nicely. So this is going to be a long flight, so rather than bore you with everything that's going on, I'm going to shut the cameras down and hopefully they'll restart uh, when I get nearer. So, um, so let's get on with the cross country. So welcome back, uh, 60 miles in, 5 miles to run, and uh, yeah, it's getting a little bit lumpy, but uh, most, of the, uh, most of the trip was quite smooth, which is quite nice. We're maintaining about 30 odd miles an hour ground speed, still doing just over 40 miles an hour airspeed, and uh, I'm coming up on about 1 hour 50 into the flight so the maths has played off and the the the, the conditions have been really nice in terms of the uh, the wind speed so let's call them up and uh, see if anyone's on the radio it's a blind transmission again so david stone traffic david stone traffic this is called foxtrot 22 with you on frequency to the north what lovely scenery lovely coastline there they have got a wind turbine just off to the uh, 
the north uh, west of the airfield and it's a downwind wind turbine. Yeah, so they've got a lovely runway which is looking like... Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I have visual. Um, I am in a silver van. I am at the threshold of 20 to land. Looking to do an overhead joint for runway 20 left hand. Call Foxtrot 22. I always know when I get nervous. I tend to put the power on and climb. I've just gained 300 feet. <laughs> I need to back off the power a bit. Still ser uh, conserve some fuel. So I've never been here, and they, a few of the guys invited me up. So I'm just going to do an overhead. Again, this used to be an old RAF station, but unfortunately, 80% of its missions were all scrubbed due to weather. And that coastline is probably for most of the reasons why. So I departed at uh, 20 past 9. I wanted to be airborne by 9, but I needed to check something. And uh, it's now 12 minutes past 11. So just under two hours to do 65 miles. Which I'm quite pleased with, actually. Just hoping it's a little bit smoother down there than it is up here. And there's a main road that runs through this airfield as well. Left hand circuit. Radio calls. Yeah, keep it on the numbers, uh, Giles. Keep on that line, that white line, if you can. Landed. And there's a sheep. Backtrack the runway, Giles, and then I'll taxi you back. You're free to park wherever you want, though. Right. Into wind, wing down. And ignition off. Woo! is done at your instruments altimeter is reset route is done uh, when it's wrong when used we'll take out from the grass weather we've discussed controls fallen free controls are fallen free power is done and eventualities Basically, with this wind, I'm going to be landing a crosswind, avoiding the tree line. I'm going to go Golf Ox Rock 2 2. We'll be departing uh, off to the west to heading to the north. Yeah, wind steady from the south. 
Right, going. Thank you, David Stoke. David Stowe, traffic from Golf Fox Trot 2 to Thanks to the hospitality. See you in the future. Nice one, Giles. Have a good trip. Have a good flight. Right. I'll wait a bit later in the day. It's now just gone five o'clock. I've got my uh, phone. I've got my wallet. I can go back. Has anyone else had that feeling where they've left somewhere and gone, where's my phone, where's my wallet, where's my car keys? So it's been a bit rock and roll while we've been sat on the ground all day, but making really good headway at the moment. So ground speeds are currently 48 miles an hour. Just as I said that, oh 49, there we go. So 45, 48. It's a long old haul back. I got here in about two hours, which is right on the limit right on the limit of my fuel duration so naturally I won't be doing this leg again unless I've got an SSDR rating where I can carry more fuel but the whole point of this trip for those that are watching was to actually prove how far sub 70 can go the places you can go people you can see and the fun you can have and seeing the Cornish coastline wow yeah, as a, on the flight on the way in, it was a bit, uh, a bit rock and roll. So um, glad I landed when I did. And uh, taking off now, we're just getting to that latter part of the day, where within the next hour it's going to be settling down. But I'm planning on a two-hour flight, maybe an hour and a half. But it means I can get back safely. If you got this far in the video, thank you for watching. And I'm going to shut the cameras down and join you back when coming back into uh, North Devon to land. Relaxed yet, Giles? Come on, keep focused. I can see the strip dead ahead now, but I don't want to lose focus. I can see the windsock, can't quite see the orientation. I'm going to come down a bit lower. It looks light and down the runway, or well, as much as it can be. Around the downwind leg. Forward flow flyby. Come on, do a decent landing, Giles. Come on. Nothing on final. are in and we're down nice happy with that it's so nice taxiing back in after all those years of humping your paramotor kit landing up the field okay and wing down into wind uh, temps are cooling rpms on idle and ignition going off cool and we're back. Oh, 
three and a half hours of flying and safely down. So no outro, had a fantastic day. Um, what's not to like? Uh, what was that best part of uh, over 120 miles today on a, on a PB? So uh, ecstatic and uh, thanks to everyone at the David Stowe Flying Club. So hopefully I'll uh, go back there later in the year. But uh, until next time everybody, fly safe. Mm -hmm.